I'm a maths teacher with an honours degree in mathematics. I'm a successful maths exam taker. In my first maths exam video, I talked about how to prepare for the exam, knowing what's on it and how it's marked, summarising and reviewing your notes from class, and practice, practice, practice. In this video, I'll talk you through what to do when you actually come to sit the exam. We'll start with the night before. Read over your summaries and notes. You did make some, didn't you? Read through your own solutions to a few problems. Or better yet, solve them again and compare your answers. And then, go to bed early and get plenty of sleep. Yes, I did say that, and I really mean it. A good rest is way more important than cramming all night. You will perform much, much better after a good night's sleep, no matter how much you've studied. You'll feel better, and you'll think more clearly and more quickly. In fact, some people say that missing a night's sleep can leave you about as cognitively impaired as if you were drunk. Would you go into your exam drunk? No. So get plenty of sleep. On the day of the exam, have a good breakfast with lots of brain food, including low GI complex carbohydrates like bread or rice that will provide a lasting supply of energy. I'm wary of saying cereal. Although there are some good whole grain cereals or a simple bowl of porridge is a good choice, there are too many commercial breakfast cereals that are really just desserts full of sugar to give you a quick rush and then leave you feeling down and craving more. Don't go there. You've got an exam to do. You need complex carbohydrates that your body can digest slowly to keep you going steadily for hours. And drink plenty of water. Again, not sugary soft drinks and certainly not so-called energy drinks which actually contain mostly caffeine, not energy at all. Of course, you have to balance drinking water against needing to empty your bladder during the exam. Listen carefully to your body and learn what works for you so you can time things right. Once the exam starts, the first thing you must do is read through the whole exam paper. This is absolutely vital. The easiest question for you to do may not be question number one. The last question may not be the hardest for you. You need to read all of the questions so you can find out which ones you are going to find easy or hard. Mark them as you go. Put a tick or a smiley face beside the easy questions and a question mark beside the ones you think will be more challenging. Highlight important instructions. Check the back page. Make sure you know whether there's a final question hiding there. Are there formulas or tables somewhere? Make sure you know everything that's on the exam. Then prioritise. Decide where you're going to start. It doesn't have to be at question one. I recommend you begin with something really easy, something you're certain you can get right. That will give you confidence to try the next question, and then the next. You decide what order you're going to answer the questions in. Prioritise. And don't panic. You should have plenty of time, if you use it wisely, and of course if you know your stuff. If you're being graded by marks, count up the marks on the exam and determine how many minutes you have per mark. If not, estimate how long each question should take you, 2 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, and write it next to the question. Leave yourself about 10 to 15 minutes spare for checking your work at the end. Managing your time wisely is going to be the key to your success. And don't forget to pray. Now begin. Follow your priorities. Start with the easy questions. 
build your confidence and warm yourself up before you try the harder ones. Don't get distracted. It's really important not to panic. Watch the time carefully. If a question is too hard or starts to take you too long, forget it. Stop wasting time on it. Just put a big star next to it so you can come back to it later if you have time. And then move on to the next question on your list. Follow your priorities. Make sure you demonstrate your understanding of the topics you've studied in class. If you're not sure what strategy to use, think back to what you've been learning. What topics were you expecting to be applying? Use the techniques you've been taught. Demonstrate what you know and what you can do. When you're done, give yourself a short rest. I mean it. Spend a minute or two with your head on the desk just resting. You need to clear your mind, ready to look at what you've done with fresh eyes. And if you've stuck to your priorities and watched your time carefully, you should have plenty of time left. After your short rest, check back over your work. Actually read what you wrote back to yourself. Does it make sense? Have you actually answered the question that was asked? Read the question again. Did you interpret it correctly? Have you fully answered the right question? Look for obvious mistakes. Did you miscopy a number from one row to the next? Get your calculator out and double check your maths. Prove to yourself that your answers are correct. And finally, have another go at any of those harder questions that you gave up on earlier because you ran out of time. You can now do that safely, knowing that you've done everything else as well as you can. If you don't panic and you're careful with your time, you should have no problem finishing the exam with confidence that you've done your best.